Hello everyone, this is DA from A-Academy. Today I'll talk about some more basic theorems regarding to the interior points of such a topological space. The statement is, if x and tau is a topological space and a is a subset of x and b is also a subset of x, which means that there are two subset of x and a is also a subset of b. So this implies that, this information implies that the interior of a is also a subset of interior of b. Again, if x and tau is a topological space and there are two subsets of x, let's say a and b, and a is also a subset of b, then this information implies that the interior of a is also a subset of interior of b. So we will prove this by using the definition of interior. So let's start. First of all, we recall the definition of the interior of a, that is the union of all the open subsets of a implies that interior of A is the largest open subset of A as it contains all of the open neighborhoods of that point A if we're talking about that interior point or the interior of A. But as interior of A is the largest open set of A, but we can also say that A is a superset or interior of A is a subset of A. Eventually A is the set and interior of A is the largest open, open subset of A. But we are not saying that A is a subset of the interior point. We are saying that interior of A is a subset of A because when we're talking about the largest open set then we are containing then the void that contains the definition is the open set. A is not open right now. If A is open then as we see in the previous theorem that if A is open then the interior of A is equal to A. In general, when A is not an open set, then by definition, the interior of A is a subset of A. As that was in the case of the closure, that closure is the smallest closed set, but the set is also smaller than that closed set. So we will use this that A interior, that interior of A is a subset of A. So this is the first information that we get by the definition. This is by the definition of the interior point or the interior, right? So this is the first information. And the second information that is given that A is a subset of, of B. So first of all, if we combine both of them, we will get A interior is a subset of A and A is a subset of B and we can get A interior is a subset of B this information from this. Now we can also use this definition for the set B because if interior of B is a subset of B by this we can also use this definition for B. So if B interior is a subset of B and A interior is a subset of B, which implies that we can also amend this statement as A interior is a subset of B is a subset of B, B interior and B. Because if we cannot write this that interior of B is a subset of B which mean which must be contained in the largest open subset of B then if A contain in the largest subset of B then A interior contain also the smaller subset of B as B interior is smaller than B and we can write this statement by using this and this so by using both of these statement we can write that A interior is a subset of B interior is a subset of B and by using this we can get our desired portion that A interior is a subset of B interior by just using a fact that A is a subset of B then we have proved that A interior is a subset of B interior. We have just used the definition of the interior point and the relation of the subsets, the relation of the supersets and by using these basic easy definitions we have proved this theorem that is really an important theorem so this is for now if you're looking for more such videos
then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos so we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye